Who lived here, I wonder? Rebellion. Let me answer. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. He's weak. Yes, he is. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Nazi, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Grimgotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, Let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Revelio. Hmm, I wonder what that does. The Bolso! That did it. Wingardium Leviosa! Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa.
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Expelliarmus! Accio! Dead end. Must be another way in. Incendio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Accio. Leviosa. Accio.
Wingardium Leviosa. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Accio! Revelio! Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. The main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah, restrain the beast. Yeah. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Can they stay back? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blasted! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Revelio. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. <laughs> Not the safest place to sneak into. Revelio. Repair him. You can feed a beast or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. Alohomora. Revelio.
Revelio. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Revelio. You're going home in a wooden box. Let me outside. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Wing. It's all right. There we go. <gasps> there you are. <gasps> Come on. A lot more. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run.
us from the castle! This is amazing! It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rook was looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Slow down now. There we go. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? You're a loyal girl, Highwing.
You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity. Goblins and wizards, I surmise. When visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. those mushrooms were. Let's finish this. 
Over here! Dominus regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Rebellion. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach of that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. 
Let's get into that castle.
Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? I don't think you know if you're talking. Flash of inspiration. You will be correct. Enjoy suffering, do you? Akio. Instantly. Oh, oh, oh. Rebellion. 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 I suppose that's the quick way down. Rebellion. Is there something to those symbols on the walls? There is. I've seen symbols like these before. I need to find all of them, then cast up them quickly in succession.
goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. Revelio. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ramrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Rebellio. something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned... It cannot be! And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sir, surely I've proven myself. In light of what's happened, perhaps you should tell me everything now. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock and my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. Revelio. Rebellion.
Guardian Leviosa. I need to reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Perhaps I can only move objects while I'm on the other side of the archway. Killer is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Incendio. Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa.
La violencia. Incendio. Wingani en la violencia. Rebellion. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. to reposition this archway. Expelliarmus. Accio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Wingardium Leviosa. If I arrange the archway correctly, I should be able to move the pillar and clear the path. Revelio. Capulso. Wingardium Leviosa.
Bring Donnie and Leviosa. Revelio. I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Revelio. Rebellion. There's a pillar here, but no ledge near it for me to grab onto.
Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Thank you. 
What a relief. Say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Rebellion. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? 
What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. Pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. Revelio. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend.
Muggle school is so dull compared to Hogwarts. I'd imagine. Never been to a Muggle school myself. Why would Slytherin put his common room in the dungeons? So dreary. Perhaps that's the point. I wonder how we'd get into Black's office. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. <gasps> A centaur! Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water.
This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, Rebellion. we can find out why. Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long.
Revelio. This is goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Anything interesting? Protego! Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Revelio. <laughs> Accio! Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the Minister for Magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Revelio. Revelio. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Then a what if it takes a sinking strike as well? Accio! Incendio! Rebellion.
Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come down? Akio! Protego! I will make You'd be better simply for gardening than for battle! Rebellion. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Hebridean from the looks of it. Can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Alohomora. I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Family work in the mind. Careful!
This way. Hebridean Black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Thank you again for those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> it was never one for adventure, my... I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Revelio. I'd like to talk with you when you have a moment. with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Oh, 
seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. What do you have in store for me this time? Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Rebellion. Expelliant. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio! Rebellion! Incendio! Rebellion. Incendio.
Expelliarmus! You're that hypocrite. Incendio. No! Revelio. I dream of making up the best. Expelliarmus. Protego. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio! Tobbs' master is awful. Levioso! Lumos! Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Lumos. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Incendio.
Looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendio! Protego! Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Revelio. Incendio. Expelliant. Levioso. Accio. Expelliant. Accio. Incendio. Rebellion. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Expelliant. Accio. Incendio. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Incendio! Revelio! Incendio. Accio. Ingardium Leviosa.
Incendiary Ops. Aqui, ó. Incendiary. Expelling Ops. Leviosa. Protego. Expelling Ops. Aqui, ó. Incendiary. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Oh no, I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Revelio! table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave.
I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. <laughs> Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he... <sighs> died. We were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise the glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. When you have a moment, please come and talk to Deke. What are you up to now? Oh, Fred Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Told that last Clementine had you chasing butterfly. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Hello, be with you in a bit. I'm told that last Clementine had you chasing butterflies all through the forest. She's quite a one, that girl. You have a good head for business, haven't you?
No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Glad you came. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behaviour. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Come on in. Plenty to look at. Revelio.
What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigods. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. idea to share with you.
speak with you when you have a look. Spare a moment. Think has
Dracchio! Wingardium Leviosa. with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke.
Revelio. So this is the underground harbour. Revelio. Revelio. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Accio. Rebellion. Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as Liquid Luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcruxes. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. A 
According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows a drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfer. Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her footsteps into an owl to stop students from cheating. Beautiful. Goodness. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig?
Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you Rebellion. wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Aloha, Mora. Revelio. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Hello. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Rebellion. Let me know. Revelio. Revelio. I need to stop by the Owlery. Far too long since I've spent the last time. Can I Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, 
Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambushed me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrock's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then! If a wizard can't count on someone in the wizarding community to help against goblins, what has it come to? Huh? Rebellion. Could it be a Merlin trial? This looks intriguing.
It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Protego! I wonder how 
how many they brought to capture. Rebellion. At least ten, usually. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. Suppose she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well past. Get to that opening below her. She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again 
Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Horntail Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Instruments are expensive, you know. Revelio. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Ertgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. 
How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. The door is looking at us. So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at Rebellion. this. Rebellion. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate on steam. Interesting. Expelliarmus. Incendio.
still can't go inside a real goblin mine. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Your wits about you, I'll meet. I'll get you through this mine. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through his safety, I'll meet. You have my word. By a door. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? We won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. Incendio. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. A schematic? There must be more notes around here. Rebellion. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something we can't return to Lord Rock and see the Complex than I had expected. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Control 
Sun. Send it. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgot what we found. Akio! came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here.
We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Armit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she'd been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, 
I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl.